Neil Armstrong didn't say that's one small step for man. Hey, hey everyone, so today we're going to look at one of the most talked about games in the Resident Evil franchise, Resident Evil 4. While a lot of people praise the game for being one of the best in the series, I could never really get into it. So today I thought I'd give it another shot, playing it just the way I did back in the day. Now disclaimer, I'm playing a slightly modified version of the game, seeing as how my brother had to delete a lot of the opening graphics and cutscene to get the game to run on modern computers. One of the first things I noticed is we're playing as a completely different character, Isaac, in an outrageously different setting. Space. The story is so radically different from what we're used to in Resident Evil games. As far as I can gather, the Umbrella Corporation started experimenting with a new kind of virus in space, which infected everyone aboard the ship we've been sent to investigate. Hey, what's up, dude? Yo, you got something behind you. Whoa, that's... Oh, oh, you good? Hey man, look, just hang in there, I'm gonna... Sorry. We play as an engineer named Isaac sent with a maintenance recovery team to help repair the ship. Now look, right off the bat, I have to admit, the game is not all bad. It has some pretty cool features that I have to give it credit for. For example, it was the first in the series to make the jump to the third person view, which really works for a horror survival game, making it scarier when you turn around and something jumps right out at you. It makes the whole game feel more claustrophobic as you play through it. The game focuses more on the action elements, which plays well with its cinematic cutscenes. Although I don't get a lot of the story points, I like that they haven't let the third person perspective limit them in the cutscenes, allowing us to see the front of our character and his actions. The fighting in the game has several distinct differences from some of the other entries in the series. For example, Instead of the classic knife, you stomp on zombies that are on the ground and bitch slap enemies that get too close to you. But I do have to say that I like the emphasis they've given on shooting out the limbs of the enemies. There are still elements that we're used to in Resident Evil games, such as inventory management, the ability to upgrade your guns as you progress, and monsters jumping out of hidden places to scare you senseless. One thing that I really like that they've added to the upgrade and management system is the store allowing you to buy ammo, new weapons, upgrade to weapons, and like health packs and stuff. After giving the game a quick play again, I have to say it's not a bad game on its own, it just doesn't work for me in the Resident Evil world. I mean, you can tell how much love went into the development of the game. Look at just how many death animations there are. Like, like, if it was its own game in its own universe, I think it would be an absolute smash, but I, it just doesn't work for me as a Resident Evil game. But anyway, that's my honest opinion of Resident Evil 4. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Who are you and talking to? No one. What you doing? Uh... Playing Resident Evil 4. That's not a Resident Evil 4. It's not? No, that's Dead Space. Oh. Now see, that's Resident Evil. Oh. This is shit. 